Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a game between Fabiano Caruana and Hikaru Nakamura. This is a game from World Championship Candidate Tournament played in 2016. Fabiano Caruana had white pieces and he started at e4. Hikaru Nakamura played e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to b5, Spanish opening, knight to f6, bell in defense, d3, very popular move against bell in defense. Another one is castle and kingside. Bishop to c5, bishop takes on c6, d takes on c6, white to move, can white win the pawn? Of course, it's not against the law. But then, queen to d4, and black is winning. Caruana played knight from b to d2. Hikaru Nakamura castled kingside. Queen to e2. Caruana is not rushing to castle kingside, is he? Surely he is considering to castle queenside. Rook to e8. Knight to c4. Knight to d7. Bishop to d2. Bishop to d6. And Caruana castled queenside. b5, naturally. Knight to e3. a5. Knight to f5, provoking g6. Nakamura played a4. If g6, knight to h6 check, king to g7, h4. This is not good for black. So we have a4, bishop to g5, attacking the queen. Black is choosing between knight to f6 and f6. If knight to f6, perhaps g4 is coming. We have f6, attacking the bishop, bishop to e3. Now the g pawn has something to latch on. Now about bishop to e3. Hikaru Nakamura was expecting bishop to d2. It appears that this is a better move than bishop to d2. Knight to c5, g4, bishop to e6, king to b1, b4, g5, b3, rook from h to g1, pawn takes pawn on a2 check, king to a1 is better than taking the pawn, because taking with king is an illegal move. Bishop takes on a5, pawn takes bishop, a3, b3, well, if pawn takes pawn on a3, then knight to a4, bishop takes pawn, bishop to b2 or something like that. So we have b3, Knight to a6, intending knight to b4. c3. So far, Caruana is defending. Bishop f8. Knight to d2, protecting the pawn on b3. f takes on g5. Rook takes pawn on g5. Knight to c5, attacking the pawn on d3. How to defend the pawn? Caruana found one very clever move to defend the pawn. Rook to g3. Can you see how it is defending the pawn? Nakamura played e4. 
if knight takes on d3, then knight to e4 is winning for white. And if queen takes on d3, then queen takes queen, knight takes queen, knight to e4. If knight goes to b2, then rook from d to g1, and white is winning. And if rook from e to d8, then bishop to g5, attacking the rook, and the rook on g3 is attacking the knight. One line goes like this, a knight to c5, rook takes rook, rook takes rook, bishop takes rook, knight takes knight, rook to e3, knight to d2, king takes pawn on a2, and white is winning. So, Hikaru Nakamura played e4, bishop takes knight. Bishop takes bishop, knight takes on e4, attacking the bishop, bishop to d6, attacking the rook, rook to h3, queen to h5, is on the menu, bishop to e5, d4, bishop to f6, rook to g1, Rook to b8, attacking the pawn on b3. King takes pawn on a2, defending the pawn. Bishop to h4. Rook to g4. Game is lost for black. Queen to d5, attacking the pawn on b3. White play the move and black resigned. And the move is an obvious one. C4. Nakamura resigned. Why? Well, he is losing a piece. After queen takes on f5, rook from g takes on h4. So black is a piece down and another reason to resign is softwares like stock fish and chips and fritz salami 14 are saying that there is checkmate in 35 moves however according to vegeta there is a checkmate in 34 moves i sometimes use vegeta but only for cooking what do you think of this game that is all I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.